football and very lovely set. Like, I wish my set was always like this every Saturday afternoon because I've got, well, four ladies and a gentleman from uh, the land of Matoka and he's talking about Uganda cranes and he's very happy about it. But uh, I'll let everyone uh, introduce themselves and uh, just uh, say oh, why they're part of the Global Goals World Cup. The founder gets the first chance. Yes, so my name is Vika Ronhold and I'm the co-founder of the Global Goals World Cup. My name is Victor Chen. I'm from Uganda. I am the UN ambassador representing SDG Goal 16, which is peace and justice. Okay. I am going to be the, one of the referees in the event here. Hi, my name is Sando Jambo, and I work with Safaricom. We are participating in the tournament and we're playing for Goal 10, which is about reduced inequalities. Okay. My name is Faith Njeri. I work with Safaricom. I'm in Team Pepea. We're also doing reduced inequalities. Okay. My name is Lilian Karanja, playing for Team Phoenix, Akili Dada, supporting gender equality. Gender equality. And uh, have you played football before? This is your first time out on the pitch. I have played when I was in primary, but uh -huh. in high school I didn't play. So this is my first time after high school. After high school. Are you yeah. fit for it? Or I'm fit. I've been Phoenix? training. Are you been training? <laughs> I've been training. Brilliant. And uh, Safaricom uh, has a team. We'll be coming to Team Safaricom, but... Uh, and hope, finding out whether they've been training also. Uh, but uh, Rika, let's start with you. How did this come about? Well, the thing is, both me and, and the other lady that, that founded this, we come from the world of sport. And okay. we know the power of sport to, you know, to unite people, to excite people, and to make us do our very best. Yes. And then when we learned about the, the global goals, we realized that if there's something, if there's one thing that we need, if we're going to achieve these goals, it is exactly that. We need to mobilize that same excitement and power for, for global development. And we would love for the world to cheer for these ladies who are actually you know, the pioneers of making change the same way that you would cheer for a sports star. Okay. So, Why Kenya? I'm very happy that you, that you brought it here, <laughs> but I'd like to find out why Kenya. Well, the thing is, we partner with the, with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Denmark, and they're very focused on the work that they do in Kenya, and they would love to take... So we started Global Goals World Cup in Copenhagen, and then we took it to New York, and they said, we need to spread this all over the world, and let's start with Kenya, and that's how we ended up in Kenya. And someone would have loved it to be in Uganda, but welcome to <laughs> Kenya. And uh, you and someone else are going to be the celebrity referees. First, tell me your association with uh, the Sustainable Goals. Yeah, I, as I said it, I, I'm happy that I'm in Kenya. Maybe it's an inspiration that Kenya should go to the next FIFA World Cup. <laughs> I'm a master. <laughs> well, I know they should come join Uganda Cranes and they move together as East Africa. Okay. So, and then secondly, I said I am part of the SDG. I'm promoting Sustainable Development Goal 16, which is about peace, justice, and strong institution. But also, most importantly, I, I was part of the team when we joined together last year in New York during the launch of uh, you know, Women's uh, Global Goals World Cup. And I'm happy that from New York came to Nairobi. So it's a long journey from New York to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And that's a testament that Africa has a commitment. I know there are a lot of viewers. KTN is all over the world, NTV is all over the world. So it's, it's all that we're saying that you know, they are watching from all over the continent. And we're happy that it, you know, it's happening the first official Global Goals World Cup outside New York is in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. We should be celebrating. So my pleasure that I'm holding what I played when I was a young boy. We could form a team, a Rambe star, Uganda Crane, and this is why I'm going back to my route. I'm back. <laughs> going back to your route. And maybe tell me about uh, your co-celebrity uh, referee. Who is he? Uh, you know, Nikolai. I don't want to talk so much about him. Everyone knows about <laughs> him. Uh, but he's a wonderful mm -hmm. uh, champion for gender. He's, he's one person who's so passionate about the role of women in you know, achievement of development, which I think is something that we cannot underlook because without women, we cannot move forward. And at the end of the day, we have a generation to raise. Mm -hmm. We are talking about change. Change will come in 2030. Change must come now. And I think using the sports to have mm -hmm. such a a powerful, popular figure to come and inspire and identify with the people who, you know, who, who admires him the most is a good opportunity to have him. I'm very happy to have him come to home, you know, in Nairobi. Yeah. Nairobi. And mm -hmm. in case you have no idea who he's talking about, and most likely you've not heard about Game of Thrones and they don't know what rock you're living under. <laughs> uh, Safaricom, 
is a proud uh, supporter of sports in this country. Okay. So this is a uh, home for you. Uh, why, uh, you said uh, goal 10? Yes. Why 10? Okay, so we're playing for goal 10 uh, because for us reducing inequalities is really important. There's lots of inequalities that exist. There's gender, there's economic inequalities, there's political inequalities, there's social inequalities. And for us, through our business and hopefully through this tournament, we'll communicate that we all have a role government, private sector, Wanainchi, partners together to look at how we can reduce inequalities. So our Team Pepea is playing for goal 10. And we have someone from Team Pepea holding the ball very proudly. What position do you play? Uh, I'm a striker. You're a striker. So but you're going to bang in the goals. Like, sorry. You're going to bang in the goals tomorrow? <laughs> I'll or make sure to score as many as possible. I'll come with a basket. Oh, for you, the, the two ladies, uh, for you it is, you're the, you're the ladies on the pitch. So how important is this for you as a player in Team Pepe? It is important. Uh, uh, now, I'll talk with regards to the goal. Mm -hmm. um, I work at the call center, mm -hmm. whereby we have uh, different people. We have the uh, physically disabled and uh, we like um, we tend to put everything like uh, bring all of us together and uh, to show the world that anyone is capable of working at whichever institution. Mm -hmm. With this, we've uh, we have like lifts which uh, they are able to maneuver through. We have this one specific lady that inspires me actually. She types with her feet. She doesn't have hands, and she's able to work. So. We are out there to show people that uh, you don't have to beg at the streets mm -hmm. to be able to feed yourself if you're not able to work. We also have people who don't talk, mm -hmm. they don't hear, but we accommodate them as well. So we want to show the world through the football also that, yeah, reduced inequalities is what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. Very, very lovely way to put it, and uh, that's quite inspiring. Lillian, what goal and why? We at Akili Dada are playing for gender equality because we believe that gender equality is a sensitive issue that needs to be addressed. We want to tackle FGM, women trafficking, domestic violence, and all the, all the other forms of violence against women. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, we can come back to you. And when you said this, did you envision that you touch the lives of people so far away from uh, where you come from and across the world? Yeah, clearly, because the, the thing is, the special thing about the Global Goals is that they're for everyone. Mm -hmm. And what we really, our big dream is to create a movement of all these different teams from everywhere in the world, putting their own words to what does gender equality mean to you? What does reduced inequality mean to you? It may not be the exact same thing that it means to a woman living in Denmark, but they'll realize that we all re need to work together to reach it, and there's so many different ways to reach it. And also, I love that we have, we're bringing in so many different partners. So we're both with the Danish Embassy, with the UNDP, we're Save the Children, there's Safaricom joining us, there's MISA joining us, there's GAIN. And that in itself is a goal for us because there's, um, you know, goal 17 is partnerships for the goals because we are n we're not going to achieve these goals if we don't work together. So. It's, it's my dream come true to meet all these ladies who are just coming from all over Kenya, from Ethiopia, from Somalia, from Uganda, and they're, they're putting into their own words, they're expressing themselves, they're coming to the pitch, and they're telling us, what does these girl mean, goals mean to me? Okay. Uh, Victor, you talked about the New, uh, New York, and um, the two ladies, if one of the team wins, they get a chance to go to New York. Yep. What can they look forward to in New York? Just sell it to them so that in case they didn't have a lot of psych to play tomorrow, they have a lot more psych to play. The winner gets a trip, the, the winning team gets a trip to yep. New York. This year is going to be even better than last year. Sell it to them. Sell it to them. Well, when we were there last year in the, during the UN General Assembly in New York, I, I guess what, what was initially the side event became the main event mm -hmm. because sports has got the best opportunity to bring everybody together. And I could see the, you know, the, the, the president of the General Assembly was there. We had celebrities, we had foreign ministers, and every other person were mm -hmm. coming in. And you could see the excitement. Everybody wanted a ball. I said, how can I take this to my country, for my president, and mm -hmm. all that. So but the whole concept of, of you know, football, you know, we're talking about 17 goals. Mm -hmm. Alone, without one of these patches, mm -hmm. it's not a ball. It's uh -huh. incomplete. It's mm -hmm. depleted. But that's why we are saying that 
if we can use the best avenue to mobilize the masses, mm -hmm. you know, the global goals idea, the agenda has been defined <coughs> by well-educated people who are a little bit out of uh, distant mm -hmm. local communities. Mm -hmm. But we're saying, how can we package this in the lowest, simplest term for the local person to understand? Mm -hmm. It's not about the UN in New York, it's about the people. Mm -hmm. UN is about the people, it's not about how good the system can be, but it's about how can we improve on the livelihood of our people from Kibera mm -hmm. to Uganda to South Sudan to Somalia, mm -hmm. an opportunity. But also we said it, in football, you are equal in the heights of the referee, mm -hmm. just as you are equal in the heights of the <laughs> well, well, Can I we'll just, I, I have to uh, add one yes. thing, because you know, obviously you can, as you can tell, this is a women's, all women's tournament. <laughs> yes, yes. But <laughs> we always only have uh -huh. tall and handsome referees mm -hmm. helping us out. So, <laughs> so really, more reason for you to come out to Impala Club. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 you can see sure, how tall it is. Making sure we but, enjoy, we include the men in this uh, program. a recommendation <laughs> right there. But well, what are our viewers saying on our hashtag top sports? Well, same as Akilidana, who are taking part with the Agenda 5, we have Yali, Young African Leaders Institute, Queens. Oh, Yali, wow. Queens, also taking part. Their, agenda, their goal is Goal 5, achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. This, they are seeking also to take part tomorrow. I don't know, my question also would be, I'm also one of the men who <laughs> want gender equality, yeah, yeah, yeah. other than <laughs> being a referee. What other way should I take part in? <laughs> Come and cheer. Well, well, yeah, you can come and cheer. Okay. You can, you can, you can be team leader for one of the teams, your coach. Uh, but definitely there are referees and our commentators uh, and sort of everyone around. We have lots of men involved in the tournament. We have cameramen, we have all this. But this is about making sure that women actually become the center of attention for this. Because so often, and especially in sport, they're like, the warm-up game or some other event that's not yes. on a nicer field or this is this in this one it's about the women playing because we're, we're not just like we're not going to achieve the, the goals without working together yes. without women we're definitely not going to achieve the goals well, that's why it's very lovely that I have lovely ladies <laughs> on my set and uh, I'll ask you as we wrap it up um, first what are you gonna do tomorrow play be in the cheering squad for Team Pepe what are you gonna do um, I'm in the cheering squad uh -huh. <laughs> I would love to have played but uh, the training was really rigorous uh -huh. so I'm in the cheering squad we're calling to fans to come out lots of fans mm -hmm. support the teams you know it's it's competitive but as the founder said it's really about coming together as women as communities and a society um, to really support and create awareness about the global goals. That's really what the spirit is. So I'm going to cheer, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to hope that Team Pepea wins, but I'm going to support any team that wins because they deserve it. Okay, uh, ladies, I hope you play your hearts out. I hope that one of your two teams goes to the New York and uh, gets uh, to enjoy the States. Thank you very much for coming through to Talk Sports. And your initiative is brilliant. In case someone wants to find out more about it, uh, is there a website? Something? Go to um, GDW Cup mm -hmm. is our website and go to the Facebook page yeah. and look because all the teams are there mm -hmm. and it's been amazing activity. So uh, go, go learn about all about the teams and then come out and support the teams. Can um, I say something to the yes, Victor. authorities of this country? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can happily say for you to us this event in Nairobi, Mm -hmm. is a, is a wake-up call. It's, it's not just an honor, but it's a wake-up call that we need to stand behind our sports. We need to support the talents in this country, in this continent. We have young people. Let us bring all those trophies home. You remember recently in uh, Olympic in Brazil, majority of the winners had African origin, but mm -hmm. none of them was represented the continent. Imagine if all those who had their route back in Africa brought all the goals home, we were going to have 70% of the Olympic gold medals if we had it. So I call upon the authority, the president of this country and the presidents in the region, let us support the talent of young people. Only in football, only in soccer, only in solidarity that we can make a difference and make Africa a better place.